Good afternoon and welcome to number five Maxwell Avenue, which is situated in Mancot, which is about four and a bit miles just outside of Chester, just inside Flintshire, but really convenient for Harden, Broughton, and also access the A55 and its wider motorway network. So I'm stood on this lovely block paved driveway, which offers lots of off-road parking. Mature hedging gives you privacy to the front of the property with an integral garage with a remote operated up and over door. So we've got a nice little fob here so you can drive straight into your garage. We're in the afternoon now and the sun is coming around the back of the property, drenching the rear garden in full sunshine. So nice low maintenance front garden with steps up to this composite double glazed entrance door into a well decorated entrance hallway with a lovely timber and glass balustrade with contemporary carpets going up to the first floor and again further contemporary grey coloured radiator. So it's a good sized hallway with wood effect laminate flooring, good, stair, good size understair storage cupboard and then we go into the main principal living room with the cast iron log burning stove. Um, I'm, I'm sure I can speak to the owner to leave their logs and their feature here, I wouldn't want to burn these, it's such a nice feature. Um, cream carpets, nice um, neutral tones on the walls but still giving you a little bit of character with a large UPVC double glazed window overlooking the front garden. We've also got a large double radiator so this must be a really cosy room of an evening. There is a square archway through to a large dining sort of living family room at the back. The property has been extended so one time this would have been the dining room, this would have been the kitchen but the property has been extended around the back of the garage to provide, to provide much larger ground floor accommodation. So like I say, I'd have this as a bit of a family, leisure room, social room, and then you've got room in the corner for a good sized dining table. Two large windows overlooking the rear garden, and then we are onwards to the kitchen, which again is a good size, situated to the rear of the property. It's a breakfast kitchen with this built-in breakfast bar, with black metro tiles over the breakfast bar, with white high gloss units, set off rather nicely, I think, with the metro um, tiles. You've got a double glazed Velix window, bringing in lots and lots of light, with further windows, door, and window to the rear, so lots and lots of natural light. Ceramic tile flooring, You've got plumbing here for the washing machine, space for quite a large American style fridge freezer here, gas hob, electric oven, all built in there with a nice sleek extractor above. So really nice kitchen, ready to move straight into. A feature which is not too exciting unless you live here is you can walk straight into the garage from the kitchen, which is really quite useful. The door is remote controlled, so you can get easy access to the front of the property. You've also got a Weissman um, combination control central heating boiler here, so no hot water tank with a built-in worktop, which provides or could provide a bit of utility space to the rear of the garage, whilst you've still got great functional storage space. So I don't normally show people inside garages, but I just think that's a really useful space being straight off the kitchen. Um, as the sun is pouring out at the moment, we've got to make the most of it. I'll take you into the back garden. So the same block paving, which is on the front driveway. We've got two easy steps into the back garden, full afternoon sun. It's laid to lawn with a block paved central pathway going down the middle with a large timber shared workshop storage area. So lots of light, well enclosed, and then back into the rear garden. I'll take you into the kitchen. Again, nice wall mounted vertical radiator, just completes the look of the property. So we go back into the entrance hallway, again, timber, internal doors, nice handles, nice door furniture. The entrance hall affords enough room for a nice shoe rack that's here. You've got your thermostat, which controls your central heating and your hot water. I love how the glass in the balustrade allows the light to flow through onto the staircase and again onto the landing. I like this stripy contemporary carpet as well. Nice double glazed window to the side. You've got your loft access above you. And I'll take you into the master bedroom with this plush, really thick um, carpet. Gives a real nice feel of coziness. You've got two um, electric points here, which would give you an idea as to where the double bed would go. But in truth, the bed could go on either wall. Again, the decoration is symbolic of the house. It's neutral but it's modern and it's, it's really, really nice and it sets off the radiator here, but you've got the white low key wall here, but with the chrome plated 
TV points and power points as to where you put your TV on that wall. Recess spotlighting, UPVC double glazed windows all the way through. It's a really, really quiet road as well. So as we go back onto the landing, bedroom two, another double bedroom. Again, either wall could be the double bed, but I think it suits, it would go here. Good size double bedroom, and you're overlooking the rear garden, which is quite a wide plot, actually. If you look down, it's one of the widest plots in the road, with laurel hedged boundaries, giving a bit of greenery in front of the fences. We go back onto the landing, and then we've got bedroom three at the front of the property, which has been used as a bit of a walking wardrobe, but you'd easily get a desk in here if it was a study, a single bed, or a cot if it was a nursery. And then finishing the accommodation off, last but by not least, is the main bathroom. Beautifully presented, it's actually a shower room with a large double shower cubicle here with this lovely travertine style marbled tiling with the overhead waterfall shower head, the chrome shower unit, really good sized glazed tray with a white modern suite with a chrome effect tap here, with a cascade style tap, built-in mirror with lighting, a further double glazed window, and matching floor tiles. So beautifully appointed kitchen and bathroom, well extended to provide two really good reception rooms, beautifully sized breakfast kitchen, with access to your integral garage, which can also be used as a bit of a utility room, sunny, particularly afternoon and evening rear garden, which is a wide plot. First floor, we've got two good sized double bedrooms, single bedroom, beautifully decorated all the way through, nice carpet, ready to move into, and there's no chain. So if you'd like to book a view number five Maxwell Avenue, give us a call at Current Homes, we'd love to show you around it. Our number is 01244 313 900. Many thanks.